Okay, so this is what the bonsai terrace looked like before. It's not very large, it's something like 15 square meters, which translates to roughly 160 square feet. As you can see, it's very full of bonsai trees and it's actually getting quite hard to walk here. Here you can see that I've already created a bench for some of my bonsai trees, which is nice because you get a good look at them. And I'm gonna try and recreate something like this along the whole length of the terrace. Alright, so I'm going to give you a slow tour now. Here's a, a little white pine project I'm working on, trying to create a Niagari. This is a large Portulacaria Afra, which I recently put into this pot at a not so perfect angle, so I'm going to have to change that soon. I just got uh, done wiring it recently. It was in a YouTube video last year, so you might have seen it before. Um, yeah, new video on this one coming soon as well. There's a Bunjin Tuya right here, which I done recently. Um, some smaller projects as you can see here. And some not quite styled yet. Uh, this little juniper was in a video recently as well. Um, some blouse junipers, some large ones that I'm styling soon. This is also a, a small shohin size portulacaria which I'm uh, letting grow a little bit now for its uh, styling coming up. Some uh, raw material. This is a Schefflera I'm working on. Um, yeah, just allowed to grow freely for now. <laughs> this is a Podocarpus macrophyllus, which you might have seen in a uh, video a while ago. It's currently uh, getting restyled, which will uh, happen soon. Yeah. Struggling little juniper right here. Nothing's to be done with this one. Uh, over here, you can see this is the olive tree I worked on recently uh, and also put a video out on this one. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. I think it's solid work. Uh, the tree's looking nice with uh, all the hollow parts. Uh, I'll show you from the back again. Here's a large hibiscus, which is uh, allowed to grow right now. Um, it is just in bloom. I thought I'd just leave these because, well, they look nice. Here you can see the hollow on the olive, which is coming along nicely. Um, small Sabina juniper. I uh, potted up this year and it'll get styled soon. A little Prunus Mahalep. Uh, I think it's called. Uh, something like a mountain cherry something um, 
nice dead wood as you can see. Uh, I just got this though, so I don't know if I'll do anything with it this year. Um, there's a stone fusion project going on over there with a ficus natalensis. This is a large ficus bengalensis. Uh, as you can see, the leaves are quite large and got some sunburn. It was really hot this year. Um, this is a Portulacaria afra forest, which I did for a friend. So this will be leaving my collection soon. I'll put out a video on it before though. Um, here's a Chinese um project I'm working on currently. Um, it just got repotted this year, so you can see there's some uh, nice nibari which I've uncovered, but it is due for a trimming and a styling. Over here you can see this is a large green island ficus, which I also acquired in the beginning of the year. I haven't done a video on it yet, but it is a nice tree. I've started work on it um, about a couple months ago and just it has been allowed to grow as you can see it's pushing strong um, yeah so video on that coming up soon here is my Duranta bonsai you may have seen this one in a video I did last year uh, there's an update coming on this one as well as you can see it's very vigorous over here we have a nice little oh, not so little actually uh, apple bonsai tree as you can see there's some fruit on it um, in spring it flowers really nicely yeah, I just got this one from a collector and um, well I think I'm not gonna do anything more than uh, fertilize it this year and just uh, start working on it next year here is a large uh, cascading, I don't know if you can see that in the back there. Um, Wisteria bonsai I'm working on, but this is just a raw project for now. As you can see, it did get some leaf burn. We had a really hot summer, oh, you know, it's still summer, so it's still hot. Um, yeah, over here is a trunk fusion. Um, I think this is just a regular variety of the ficus micro microcarpa. Um, yeah, so there are four little trees being combined at the moment. Um, yeah, that's just gonna take some time. Over and under here, you can see there's my ginseng ficus. I'll be putting out a video on this one soon. It has developed some nice aerial roots, as you can see. Um, yeah, it'll be transformed into the banyan style. Um, this is my first real uh, bonsai, a tiger bark ficus that I recently pruned, which uh, has responded really nice. As you can see, a very full canopy, lots of ramification. Um, so I'll be selling this up again soon. Uh, here's another tiger bark ficus. A cascade. You might have seen this in a video as well that I did last year. Um, there's an update coming on this soon once I style it up. Uh, back there you can see that is a um, I think it's uh, called Saber Speciosa. Uh, it has thorns and can flower as well. Looks really cool. These thorns never cease to grow so eventually the bark will look uh, Somewhat like like a dragon skin. Uh, I saw that on uh, Nacho Marin, which is a I think Venezuelan bonsai artist. I saw it on, saw it on his uh, Instagram. That was pretty cool. Little ficus Benjamina that had um, quite a setback this year. It lost a lot of leaves in the winter uh, and a lot of branches as well. So yeah, it's just being allowed to recover a little. Ficus salicaria. These ones are a uh, willow leaf ficus. Um, these ones are actually kind of hard to get in Germany. This is the only species, uh, the only um, example of one that I found here. So I got it. I just recently started working on it. Um, video coming soon as well. 
This is a project some of you might know. It's a little um, Chinese juniper. Uh, I think the variety is called Stricta. Usually it just grows upright. I styled this up last year and uh, now this year I put it over a rock um, waiting to the, to, till the roots have uh, gone down to the pot. So yeah. Here are some uh, unfinished projects, you know, like some uh, some quirky little uh, root over vase and uh, crystal back there. Uh, this is uh, a Deshojo maple that I'm currently air layering and it's just been allowed to grow freely because this has really got to thicken up. Um, little Chrysula forest. This was actually my first ever bonsai project. Um, yeah, not much has been done to this one. It's still in a training pod. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep it, but uh, at some point, maybe, maybe I'll do something with it. Don't know yet. This is my uh, Bunjin um, Portula Carrier Afra bonsai. Um, yeah, this uh, was in a video last year. It's uh, due for an update and a trimming as well as a styling. So be sure to check that out. Um, other than that, I just have some, some small projects down here, which are just uh, allowed to grow freely for now because there isn't much going on with it. Yeah. So yeah, that's about it. All my trees, all my good ones at least. And a nice little bonsai rooftop terrace, which I am very happy about.